Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years and I've lost 60 pounds following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. I wanna show you what I'm eating today, out and about, busy day with the kids, we're in town. I brought loads of food with me this morning and I wanna show you what I have got going on. So obviously you guys know I start my day with veggies and beans, as boring as that sounds, I love it and I'm getting to the habit of it every single day and it has given me such incredible benefits. So I have got loads and loads of veggies and beans going on in here. I've got a full head of broccoli, a full half of a red cabbage, a courgette and two carrots. And no, I've not just got this. I've got two. So I'm gonna start with this one, see how I feel and maybe move on to my second one afterwards. And then I also brought my um, protein, not using protein powder, just chickpeas, berry kind of milkshake kind of smoothie vibe with loads of oats and packed with loads of good stuff. So I brought that with me as a snack. And then I've also got loads of sweet potatoes. So um, it's about 10.30. I'm just gonna get started with these veggies and I'll keep you updated. We're also going to soft play today. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on. But yeah, veggies first, always veggies first. So I needed more. I've moved on to my second batch. Couldn't help myself. Good job, babe. So we're just at the soft plate and I'm just having a little bit of my smoothie before we go in, just to keep me going because um, it's about nearly 11 and we're gonna be in for a couple of hours. So I know I'm gonna need some and we can't take food in with us, unfortunately. Although I'm gonna bring something in for the kids. But anyway, I'm just gonna chug some of this, um, maybe get half of this smoothie down, um, then the other half later. Okay, hi guys. So we're just in my aunt's at the moment and she has put together the most delicious Indian feast for us. So I know you can't see it very well, but we've got, I've got loads of rice in here. I've got some sweet potato dal and then some um, sagaloo as well. So I'm just gonna feast on this with a lovely cup of tea. And we're just, gonna, we're just chilling, we're just chilling. Hello guys. So I know I haven't really been on here much today. It's been a very busy day. Um, I always think it's worth filming a busy day just because it gives you an idea of what I eat when I'm out and about. It's all very well and good seeing what I eat when I'm at home in the kitchen all day. What do I eat when I'm not at home in the kitchen? Um, anyway, hopefully that's helpful for some. Um, anyway, we have just, on the way home, we decided to stop off and quickly buy some bags of salad because you guys know it didn't come in our rivers with all day and we really wanted nem nems tonight, like the fresh kind of spring rolls. Um, so we just stopped off at the shops, which is about... 10 15 minute walk from our house Romy was screaming the house down she hates being in the car she always screams so i thought i'd get in some more movement and stop Romy from screaming by putting her on my back and just walking home while the boys grab the salad and they're going to meet us at the house so that was my plan to get more movement in today um yeah we had a lovely time at my aunt's uh it was gorgeous food she is vegan the whole family isn't but my aunt's vegan and obviously she does a lot of the cooking so all of the Indian is vegan and I've also got her into eating oil free as well, which is really exciting. So it was all vegan and oil free. So yes, I know I'm a very lucky lady. Um, however, what I have done is through transitioning eating this way, I have influenced my family's choices because they can see the impact that it's having for me. And um, I don't try and be pushy about it, but if they're interested, I try and explain what I do. Um, and so, you know, my mum's eating oil free now when she wasn't. Oh, that's the boys. <laughs> yeah, my mum's eating oil free now where she wasn't before. Um, and my aunt's try um, doing the same as well. So it's really nice the impact that you can have on the people around you when you start to make some incredible changes. Um, and once you give that some time so that they can start seeing the change in you. And yeah, it's a really lovely thing. Anyway, so um, yeah, the, anyway, the point is that the Indian was fantastic that she made and I ended up having um, an extra little serving of each thing after my first bowl and I had a lovely biscuit tea, obviously, um, because I've got her onto the biscuit tea too. Um, so yes, now we're just heading home and it's about 4, 4.30ish. So I'm actually gonna probably get started making dinner um, and I'm gonna do lovely rice paper rolls. I don't know how hungry I am because I was quite full after the Indian. I didn't really have a lot of veggies, so it was a lot very starchy, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not feeling super hungry. So I don't know whether I'm gonna need my chips with my spring rolls tonight. So maybe I'll just go spring rolls, um, see how I feel. And then if I need any chips, I'll make them. Not quite sure, I'll play it by ear. And I'll keep you guys updated and I'll show you why I end up making. But yeah, I thought it was just worth giving you a quick little update. So I'll chat to you in a bit. Okay guys, so we are at home and I just wanna show you our little station. We've got all of our veggies chopped up as usual, carrot, 
cucumber, avocado, and some tofu. And we, we actually, I'm really sad because we only have 13 of these. So we're gonna have to be a little bit sparing. So I might have to have something else because I'm only gonna be able, be able to have five. Um, anyway, that's all right. Um, and I've just made the delicious peanut butter sauce. I've got mine using PB2. The guys have got real peanut butter. And it's just maple syrup, soya sauce, lemon juice, garlic um, powder, and ginger powder. And I don't really measure it. I just kind of whack it in and it tastes delicious. So that's the sauce for that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap these bag boys and I'll show you my meal when I've got it. Okay, guys, we've got our food together. I'll show you what I've got before I tuck into it because I'm very hungry. So I've got myself a massive, delicious feast. So I've got my five Nim Nems there loaded with um, carrot, cucumber, tofu, and loads of leafies. I've got a full pear because I fancied something a little bit sweet and fresh. I've got my lovely peanutty sauce. And then I went with one lovely big potato for some lovely chips. So that is my massive, gigantic feast for this evening. Um, Abe's just got some of the same. And they both also, both of the kids also having some leftover mung bean stew from yesterday and a bit of avocado and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and tuck into this. This is a very tasty sauce. If you want to check out a good tasty sauce, this would be great for a salad. We do, do this sauce for a lovely kale salad. It's really nice. Um, just massage it into some kale. Mm, very tasty. Anyway, I'm gonna go dig in. I have just finished a very lovely, short but intense rebounding session, which is why I'm all sweaty. Um, I thought I'd just quickly pop on and say hi, and I wanna give you a food update. I'm gonna be out and about all day. We're going for a massive, lovely walk with my mum, and I'm gonna be bringing loads of food with me. I've made loads of breakfast, so come through. Let me show you what I've got going on. But first and foremost, I have got a lovely cup of biscuit tea, mm, which is beautiful. I've already had one, and this is my second one, if I'm honest, but damn, that's a tricky confession. Okie dokie, guys, so I've actually, smashed it this morning i have done so much stuff i feel like i've just been like on fire woken up sunday morning i'm like come on baby so we had loads of chickpeas cooked up so obviously i made myself a massive batch of oil free hummus if you're wanting the recipe it's somewhere here on youtube right down 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 far far away also i was like i've got loads of chickpeas i need to use them up so i decided to whip out a little batch of chickpea cookie dough balls these are so delicious um, in all honesty, these are mainly for my kids, so I'm going to freeze some um, and then they can have some today. I will have these as an emergency little snack on our walk if I get really hungry, but um, they do have quite a fair few dates in them. So I don't want to have like too many just because the calorie density is a little bit higher, but I'm happy having a couple. So I've just made my kids loads of breakfast. Uh, they've had chocolate porridge and then I was like, oh, chocolate porridge. Actually, I haven't had porridge in ages. I've been having cakes, smoothies, chocolate puddings, but I haven't had chocolate porridge in a while. Um, so I'm gonna jump back on the porridge train and I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with chocolate and like a mashed banana for sweeteners. If you guys are new around here, I don't like using loads of sweeteners like maple syrup, dates and all that kind of stuff. Not only is it slightly higher calorie density, but you can definitely use them and lose weight completely. But for me personally, they overstimulate my food and I don't know where my cutoff point is. I find it really hard to honor my hunger fullness cues if I add loads of maple syrup and stuff to my um, breakfast specifically is where I would kind of go for it. So without adding all that sweetener, the food is lovely. If you're hungry, if you're not hungry, then it won't be so lovely and then I stop eating it when I'm actually full. So that is perfect. However, obviously to start my day, I have already made a bucket, bucket ton of veggies, let me show you. Okay, so this is my bucket of veggies. I have a full, full bag of kale over here, which I've just put in the food processor with. I've changed up my, my recipe, and I'm super thrilled with myself, because I've made even more low calorie density, yay me. Um, so with the kale, I would usually add a tablespoon of tahini, but instead what I've done is I put some hummus in it. So now it's got the creaminess from the hummus, but the hummus only has a couple of tablespoons of tahini, so I'm keeping that look, those um, fats nice and low. I mean, obviously tahini is fine, but I like to also get my fats in other areas throughout the day, like flaxseed and the Brazil nuts and stuff, so I don't need to go mega hard on the, on the fats here. Um, and then I've also got a full head of broccoli and two courgettes sauteed in soy sauce and garlic, regular Amy style. So that is my breakfast. I'm gonna have loads of my hummus on top of here, because it's only a bit in the kale. So, so that's breakfast part one. I'm going to do a porridge for on the go, which is breakfast part two. And I'm also taking loads of sweet potatoes. And I'm thinking of keeping lunch like super simple while we're out. I'm going to do sweet potatoes, which I didn't eat yesterday, which I baked up and those are going to be yummy. Um, and I'm going to just take a couple of carrots, some cucumber and some apples and oranges. So it's just going to be a fresh, easy, 
non-fussy kind of lunch and then when we get back i'm going to do a massive mega potato feast so anyway i'm very excited about that i'm gonna to need to go get myself ready now because we literally need to leave in like 15 minutes um and i'm i don't yeah i'm gonna eat my breakfast part one now and i'm gonna take breakfast part two with me that is my plan join me for a day i don't know how busy it's gonna be but i'll show you a lovely walk that we end up doing i carry rami while we're on a walk so that's some really good exercise in there but yeah i woke up this morning i was like it's Sunday morning, I could just relax, have a tea and just chill and stuff. Or I could say, come on, Amy, let's do a bounce. I didn't do a bouncing session last night um, because just I just, pff, it, didn't, it just didn't happen. Um, so I woke up and I was like, come on, Amy, let's do it. And it was actually such a beautiful bouncing session. And I really like to have fun with my bouncing. You do not need to exercise in order to lose weight. But I'm wanting to build my, change my body composition and really build some muscle. So I, when I get on the trampoline, I don't just do cardio bouncing, although that's great. I really focus on building muscle and when the trampoline is brilliant because if you kind of go like that and you bounce, um, you really do end up working your muscles. So my arms were on fire this morning. Then I did a bit of my legs and then the kids came through. But anyway, it was a fantastic workout. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go, I'll chat to you later, but I'm gonna go and stuff my face with veggies and a big splop of hummus on top. I know it looks like a ridiculous portion. You guys know me, I love my veggies. I've made it a habit to build veggies into my morning routine. I don't even think about it now. I just start doing it. Um, so anyway, if you want to get into the habit of it, I highly recommend get a bit of, bit of veggies in there first thing in the morning. Game changer. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys. So I have finished my veggies. And I've got loads of stuff in the car ready to go. I'm taking sweet potatoes, tomato soup, loads of crudite. What else am I taking? Um, I'm taking my porridge. Got loads of good stuff. We're all packed up, ready to go, but Ronnie's asleep on me. Let's see if we can transfer her, but uh, yes, let's go, let's go out. Let's go out for a lovely day with the babies. Just about to head and I'm eating this leftover apple from Romy's porridge. Okay guys, so we're at my mum's and I'm just getting all the food out because we're going to have a quick bite. It's about midday, so we're going to have a quick bite to eat before we go on a mega long walk. Um, Abe needs the energy and so do I because I'm going to be carrying Romy on my back, obviously. My mum is... I, I really want to do a recipe book and just show more recipes of what my mum creates because she's so creative in just such a different way. She's made some amazing polenta um and she's also making like she does a chia buckwheat bread all the time and i really want to show you guys that but i don't come around here very often she's very busy with work and with my little sister as well so it's really hard to have the time to do that um but i so desperately want to show you all of her recipes and it's really funny because i made some chickpea cookie dough balls um to bring and to share with everyone my mom's already made some chickpea cookie dough balls so we're gonna have a chickpea cookie dough ball off and see whose is the tastiest although hers has chocolate chips so i feel like i know who's going to be the winner there anyway um i'm going to dive into my porridge i'll show you that in a sec um, and then i've got all of our food here um and i don't even know i don't even remember what i bought um but we're going to do some snacking okay i just want to show you a quick chalky porridge i've just done one cup of oats two cups of water some cocoa powder tablespoon of flax and a banana for sweetness anyway i'm gonna go and munch on this and um, this is the cornbread the, what is it polenta this mm -hmm. is the polenta and she just popped in the toaster but i'm gonna have a little bite of this afterwards as well okay so i didn't eat all my chocolate porridge i ate about two-thirds of it because there was no sweetener in so i was able to listen to my hunger fullness cues and when i was not hungry anymore it stopped tasting yummy but before when i was hungry it did taste yummy so that is the magic of no sweetener Okay, guys, many, many, many hours later, it's 7.30 and we are back home. I'm trying to figure out what I've had to eat. Um, I haven't really had very much, in all honesty. I ate um, the crudite in the car. I packed like three carrots and like a half a cucumber, so I ate that in the car. And then I did end up taking the uh, chickpea balls with us on the walk when I got really hungry. I had maybe like four or five of those chickpea balls. Um, and then I haven't had anything since then got home now i've just I had a tiny little bit left of my porridge so i've just finished that and uh, i'm gonna have some lovely tomato soup that i had brought with us but i just didn't have a chance to eat and just didn't fancy it and i've got three sweet potatoes in the microwave warming up right now my plan is to have the tomato soup and bananas cinnamon on the sweet potato that's my plan and i think that'll be very delicious so anyway that is going to be my dinner just a makeshift version tonight nothing fancy we were meant to have mashed broccoli and gravy but 
don't have any mushrooms and I can't be bothered to make anything. So we're just keeping it simple. James is just having some leftover mung bean stew. Abe's just having some leftover sushi. Romy's gonna share food with me. Quick and simple tonight. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And um, I'm about to stuff this soup in my face right, right, right now. It was a crazy couple of hours and I totally forgot to film my sweet potato uh, with banana and stuff. I mean, it didn't look particularly pretty, um, but it was yummy and it hit the spot. These sweet potatoes that I've been getting recently are not the best though. So I need to find a new place to get sweet potatoes. I might need to go back to my old farm shop because they're a bit like meh. Anyway, uh, but it was still good filling and I don't, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. I'm going to get Romy to sleep. I did a bounce session this morning, so I don't need to do any bouncing tonight. So I have free baby and I might not do even do any work tonight. I might just, I might just chill and watch something um snuggled up with james which is a rarity but i think i might treat myself and i'm gonna go for it guys it's crazy <laughs> um feel like i'm having a night off which is nice um anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um and i'll chat to you guys tomorrow monday mornings exciting grocery list shopping plan that didn't make any sense you can tell i'm tired anyway all those good things so i'll see you tomorrow